Welcome to the Center for Accessibility Services at Radford University. The purpose of this video is to review the material contained in your accommodation packet and to guide you through the process of obtaining your accommodations. Pay special attention to the information provided in this video as it is important that all forms are completed correctly and in a timely manner. Let's begin by opening your accommodation packet. Every student's needs are unique, so your packet may not contain all of the materials shown in this video. If you feel that you are missing material relevant to your accommodations, please pause the video and contact a staff CAS member. The first document in your packet is the policies and procedures for receiving services. We will review each section individually, and you will pause the video to initial each section. It is important that you are aware of all services and policies pertaining to the CAS, and that you initial the correct blanks. Keep this document available throughout the video, as we will use it as a guide to review your packet. Now please pause the video and write your name and student ID at the top of this form. The first section lists the responsibilities and policies that apply to all students receiving services through the CAS. It states, 1. Students are qualified for accommodations based on best practices, a student interview, and supporting documentation. CAS accepts copies of documentation only, no originals. Documentation is processed in the order it is received. 2. Accommodations are not retroactive. I will submit an accommodation request form each semester to receive my accommodation packet. Students receiving priority registration only are required to submit an accommodation request form each semester. 3. It is my responsibility to initiate services and to inform my professors of the accommodations that have been recommended. I will provide an accommodation letter and an academic accommodations contract to each professor every semester for each class in which I am re requesting accommodations. Four, I will return the white copy of the triplicate academic accommodations contract signed by both myself and the professor to the CAS within five business days of obtaining signatures. Five, I will notify the CAS of any concerns regarding my accommodations so they may be addressed in a timely manner. 6. Documentation is valid for academic accommodations at Radford University only and may not fulfill the accommodation requirements for entities that administer standardized testing, like the GRE, Praxis, or BCLA. 7. Registered student files will be purged five years from the last date of service without notification. 6. By written student request, CAS will provide copies of CAS service-related records. Requests for copies of documentation, such as medical records or IEPs, should be made to the original provider. Now sign your initials in the blank to signify that you understand and will adhere to these policies. Set this form aside and turn to the next page of your packet. This document is your accommodations letter. You should have one letter for each course in which you have requested accommodations. The letter contains a standard agreement at the top, followed by a list of accommodations at the bottom. The name and signature of your disability service specialist is located at the bottom left of the letter. The only difference between each letter is the course name listed at the top. Make sure to take the corresponding letter to each professor. Following this section, you will find a list of accommodations for which you are eligible. Read each accommodation carefully as you are only eligible for those listed on the letter. If you feel that an agreed upon accommodation is missing, schedule an appointment with your disability service specialist. Please pause the video now while you read the letter and review your accommodations. Next, you will find your academic accommodations contract. This is a triplicate form with white, yellow, and pink pages. Schedule a meeting with your professors during their office hours to discuss your accommodations and possible alternate strategies. Bring both the contract and the accommodation letter to the meeting and complete the top of the form. Accommodations that violate the technical standards of a class, major, or program 
may require alternate strategies. If you or your professor need assistance in determining alternate strategies, contact your disability service specialist and he or she will work with you to determine a reasonable and appropriate accommodation. After you and your professor have discussed and agreed upon your accommodations as written or alternate strategies, ensure that your professor checks the appropriate blanks and signs the contract. The white copy must be turned to cast within five business days of signature. The yellow copy is for your professor and the pink copy belongs to you. It is critical to understand that your accommodations are not retroactive. They are valid once you and your professor have completed and signed a form and returned the white copy to CAS. The next section of this video refers to documents and policies that will only be applicable if you are eligible for specific types of accommodations. Listen to this information even if you are not receiving one or more of these services so you will be fully informed. For accommodations not listed in your accommodations letter, you will initial the sections entitled, I am not eligible. Let's return to the policies and procedures for receiving services form. The next section is for students who are eligible to use a recording device. If you are not eligible, initial the blank that reads, if you are not eligible to use a recording device as an accommodation, initial here and continue to next section. Listen patiently as we move forward so you are fully informed. This section reads, prior to using the recording device, I will notify my instructor of what recording devices I will use and discuss the plan of use with my professor. The information recorded during class lectures and discussions will be used to support my education. I will maintain private and inclusive use of all recorded lectures and or discussions. I will destroy any recorded material at the end of the semester. Now sign your initials in the blank to signify that you understand and will adhere to these policies and responsibilities. If you are eligible for note-taking services, your packet will contain a volunteer note-taker form for each of your classes. Be sure your student ID is printed at the bottom of each form. Give the note-taker form to each of your professors for each class in which you wish to receive notes. Your professor should notify the class of the opportunity to volunteer and then return the form to CAS. This is done in a confidential manner and your classmates will not know who is receiving the service. Now return to your policies and procedures for receiving services form. The next two sections concern the note-taking services. If you are not eligible for note-taking services, initial the blank that reads. If you are not eligible for note-taking services, initial here and continue to the next section. The first of these two sections concerns coordinating with your note taker. It reads, coordinating with your note taker will greatly improve the quality of your service and will allow you to communicate directly with your note taker when questions arise. Many of our students find it helpful to coordinate directly with their note taker. This improves the quality and speed of the note taking service and allows you to contact your note taker directly if you have any concerns about the notes, such as legibility or questions about graphs, drawings, or other information. The other option that CAS offers for note taking services is to work directly with the CAS note taking service coordinator to obtain your class notes. Your identity will remain confidential. Initial one of these boxes below to signify your choice. The next section is entitled, Policies and Responsibilities for Note-Taking Services. Again, if you are not eligible for this service, initial the first blank. The policy reads, I will contact the CAS immediately if I am not receiving my notes in a timely manner or if I withdraw from the class. Now initial the blank to signify that you understand and will adhere to this policy. Set the form aside and turn to the next page in your packet. If you are eligible for testing accommodations, your packet will contain a copy of the proctoring request form. A copy of this form must be completed for each test, quiz, or exam that you plan to take in the CAS, and the form must be submitted seven business days prior to the test date. We do not need this form if you arrange to take the test with your professor or proctor in an alternate location. You will likely need copies of this form, which you may photocopy or print out from the CAS website located under the Forms tab. 
It is your responsibility to complete the form with your professor for each test. You may only take the exam at the time and date listed on the form, and you may only use materials specifically indicated by your professor. All the information on the form should be complete and accurate before submitting to the CAS. Now return to your Policies and Procedures form and find the section labeled Policies and Responsibilities for Test, Quiz, Exam, Accommodations located on the back of the page. If you are not eligible for this accommodation, initial the first blank and listen as we move forward. The policies for this accommodation are as followed. 1. To secure a test, quiz, or exam accommodation, I will complete the proctor request form with my professor and submit it to the CAS office at least seven business days prior to the scheduled test, quiz, or exam. Tests, quizzes, or exams scheduled with CAS will begin between the hours of 8 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. 2. I will arrive at the CAS 10 minutes prior to the scheduled test, quiz, or exam time and begin the test, quiz, or exam at the day and time approved on the test proctoring form. I must arrive no later than 15 minutes after the scheduled time to be eligible to take the quiz, test, or exam. 3. I will bring and use the materials approved by the instructor on the proctoring request form. I will leave unauthorized materials, including jackets, backpacks, cell phones, etc., outside the testing area. 4. I will adhere to the Radford University Honor Code. The CAS monitors and records all testing rooms. Any academic infractions will be reported directly to the professor to determine a course of action. Sign your initials in the blank to signify that you understand and will adhere to these policies. Policies for alternate text requests are as followed. One. I will submit an alternate text request form and copies of receipts for my alternate text needs. I will allow 10 business days from the time both the request and the receipts have been submitted to process the request. Publishers can take longer than 10 business days to provide alternate text formats to the CAS. Two, I will comply with the Copyright Revision Act of 1976 and will not copy, duplicate, distribute, or alter the materials received through this accommodation for any purpose. Alternate text formats and assistive technology are for my personal use only. 3. Alternate text formats will be destroyed or returned to the CAS if I am no longer in possession of the original textbook, i.e. if the textbook is sold, traded, or returned after rental use. Sign your initials in the blank to signify that you understand and will adhere to these policies. The final statement reads, I have read the policies and procedures for receiving services. I understand and will adhere to the above. I understand that there will be a delay in the accommodation process if I do not adhere to the CAS processes and procedures. If requesting additional accommodations, I may be required to submit additional documentation to support my request. I understand that alternate accommodation strategies will be explored should requested accommodations violate the technical standards of a course or program. Now sign and date and write the academic year at the bottom and initial the box for the current semester. This contract is valid for the remainder of the academic year and must be initialed upon requesting services for the new semester. As we conclude, there are several other campus resources that RU students find invaluable. Student Counseling Services provides free, confidential, short-term counseling for all Radford students. The counselors at SCS are licensed mental health professionals who can help you develop and sharpen your skills, sort through important decisions, and find ways to live life to the fullest. The SCS also has a psychiatrist on staff that can assist you with medications and medication management. For additional academic support, Bradford University offers tutoring through the Learning Assistance and Resource Center, also known as the LARC. Here, you can schedule an appointment with a trained and certified tutor to help you ensure your academic success. NetTutor is also available online as a tutoring option, available to all Bradford students. 
you may access NetTutor through the RU website. TRIO Student Support Services offers a range of academic assistance and is available to first-generation low-income or students with a documented disability. The CAS also maintains a departmental list of tutors who may assist you in specific majors. Check out the tutoring board in the CAS suite and contact the CAS if you need help finding tutors or other academic resources. As we conclude, there are several other campus resources that RU students find invaluable. Student Counseling Services provides free, confidential, and short-term counseling for all Bradford students. The counselors at SCS are licensed mental health professionals who can help you develop and sharpen your skills, sort through personal decisions, and find ways to live life to the fullest. The SCS are also has a psychiatrist. As we conclude, there are several other campus resources that Radford students find invaluable. The Student Counseling Services provides free, confidential, and short-term counseling for all Radford students. The counselors at SCS are men licensed mental health professionals who can help you develop and sharpen your skills, sort through important decisions, and find ways to live life to the fullest. The SCS also has a psychiatrist on staff that can assist you with medications and medication management. For additional support, Bradford University offers student tutoring through the LART Learning. This concludes your accommodation packet tutorial. Familiarize yourself with your accommodations packet and schedule an appointment with your professors during their office hours to review and sign the documents. If you have any questions or concerns, contact the CAS staff as we are here for your support and guidance. Thank you from Team CAS. Your time and attention is appreciated, and we hope you have an incredible experience at Radford University. We wish you the best in your academic journey.